Right guys, we are here back in the Stoltman Strength Centre. This is our first video since Glasgow Giants Live. Pretty awesome the show, I think we can all agree. Dan was there, obviously Tom and I, first and second, one of the most amazing shows I've ever been at. The crowd were amazing, so thank you for everyone that came to watch us. Absolutely incredible. So we are now in prep for Arnold's and Britain's Strongest Man. So we've got Arnold's Arnold Classic this Sunday um, down in Birmingham at the NECC or the NEC, whatever it's called. Um, hopefully all you guys can come down and watch us. We will be there Saturday at different stalls. We're selling merchandise down there as well. Thank you to Official Strongman for letting us come along and to Mile Master as well. So for our merchandise will be on the Official Strongman stall and on the Mile Master stall. So if you are wanting merchandise, get to them stalls Saturday and Sunday. Our uh, lovely camera guy, Simon, Gabrielle will be there. Uh, Sinead and Cushy also, hopefully Dan as well, if we can sneak him in through the back door. So yeah, we've got Dan up this week, Dan's coming up, we did a deadlift session yesterday, went over some technique, I've changed my stance a little bit because I'm a lot fatter than when we changed the stance last time. Today we have got uh, push press, so yep. we're doing some push press, um, some accessories for push press and then we're going to work on some dumbbell technique um, because we have dumbbell in the next three, three competitions we're yeah. doing. So. so these three comps in a row got dumbbell. Yeah, you and Tom filled up the rogue dumbbell to... 105. 105. So and guys, Dan filled it up the hard way. I was actually just strange for once in the life, so... <laughs> That's fair. What does that mean though? Who knows what that means. <laughs> Tom doesn't explain things, he just says. <laughs> he just says them. How do you want to explain? So, we were trying to look for a, a, funnel. a funnel, but Dan got the petrol bit and poured it in and it took so long to pour in because it was just straight down and then it kept filling up didn't it and then <laughs> I found a piece of cardboard put it in the shape of a hole filled it up and it was like a slope and it all poured in so it took about 15 minutes my side about an hour and a half his side so I'm not just a straw man I'm a brain for this sort of cooperation cooperation yeah anyway yeah so we both got push press today we're doing all that stuff I think Luke with his push press is doing five fives 160 yeah. he's doing his own stuff but Dan wants to do me lighter so i think it's 100k yeah. five fives more to the point that you want to get my leg drive more effective yeah i mean i can log and push press and stuff but i don't use my legs to the benefit of like how luke and hicks you know them lose their legs yes yeah? So. yeah so you just you do leg drive and then strict press it yes. instead of using your legs to lift more weight it's a two-part movement i can't multitask but anyway let's get to it Just trying to get Tom's timing a bit better with his push press. So at the moment he's doing like a big leg drive and then strict pressing it. Whereas we want him to use his legs to make the press easier. And yeah, I mean he's pressing like 210 at the moment, so it should be a worrying improvement. Down. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Perfect, do exactly that with that. Yeah. It's really good. What do you say your biggest difference is uh, with pressing compared to Tom's? Um, I just, I've just got more explosive power in my legs. Um, I utilise my legs more than Tom does. I think Tom's probably struck press more than more than I have, um, so he probably utilises more of his strict power when he's pressing. It doesn't just happen overnight, you know, putting your legs and you know putting that explosive power in your legs it takes a bit of time. Like you look at how big Z pressed, he had a little pop in his legs, but it was very effective. When I press, I've got more of a bigger pop, which is effective. 
you look at Eddie, Eddie didn't really have much of a pop in his legs, so it's all just very um, athlete specific, but it's definitely worth Tom trying to, you know, get as much power from his legs as possible, even if it's just a little bit. Tom used to just dip and then press, so he did the two movements, but they weren't, um, they weren't kind of complementing each other. Like Tom would dip and then press, so it wasn't a complement of each other. So I think that's what Tom just needs to get into his head more is that once he does use his legs, those, like especially log for reps or axle for reps, whatever it is, that becomes a lot more easier. He still did nine reps, kind of strict press, 150, so it's not bad. So we'll see, see how it goes. Can you talk about your new technique, how it's feeling as well? Yeah, obviously it's hard to get used to it, but um, it's 100k for 5.5, five, so it's not going to be like... I'm doing it, I think I'm just going to stay at 5.5s five, at 100 just to get used to it and, you know, really get it in my head and get it kind of clockwork in my head before I start going up. But yeah, first set felt alright, felt much more snappier than usual, so it, it should uh, hopefully, as the weights go up, I can keep the technique and keep on improving, but I think if I use more leg drive, I can get bigger pressing, yeah. so. Yeah, I think, well, I've got nine reps at Glasgow, but <laughs> like I said, I missed time to push, so I push, stop, press, and uh, Dan just said, you know, let's try and get your legs involved more, and I can be a good presser, so. I mean, it's gonna feel right soon, but I think once I get to my fourth, fifth set of this, it's gonna feel good, but yeah, we'll just uh, keep going and see how it feels. It's very similar uh, for how we're going to use Tom's dumbbell technique. Um, jerk, teaching Tom to jerk I don't think would be beneficial, but getting him to use his legs would be massive. <coughs> yeah, let's switch it to three threes, I think. Because I get quite a lot of... Uh, leg dry, sometimes my knees, my patellas go a little bit because we're competing this weekend. Strength wise, a few days before a competition doesn't make a difference, so rather than try and push it, because five fives, like five fives at 160, I could do it, but then I'm going to be a little bit not burnt out, but just my knees will feel it. So three reps is okay, I think, conservative now. We're, we're doing the, the show in, in Arnold's. Um, because before, before we weren't actually sure if we were going to go and do it but now uh, we've decided to go down it's going to be like a good uh, training session for us going into Britain's because there's some similar events we've got deadlifts similar uh, dumbbells similar stones are similar so for us it's like a a kind of warm up or not a warm up but like a training session for for Britain's Strongest Man so yeah, do as good as we can in Arnold's and then really kind of smash the, the Brits competition, which will be, yeah, that'll be good. Exciting. So guys, that's a push press finish. Now we're gonna do dumbbell training. As Luke said, we've got it in the next three comps. We've got 65, 80, 105 here. So I think we're just gonna have a, maybe try and two or three reps of the 105K dumbbell. Dan's changed my technique so I can actually dumbbell press now, which is cool. So yeah, let's see what happens.
Two more. Two more. No, it looked better. Um, Tom's he's holding it for longer, which is good. Um, under control more. I'm not dipping forward. <laughs> Tom will answer a question for you, so that's fine. Welcome to the Highlands, guys. Eh? Dumbbell in the rain. <laughs> How did that go for them, boy? Yeah, really good. Um, Luke's looking snappy, like you'd expect. Um, it's probably the best presser in the world at the moment, so yeah, it's looking how we want. And then with Tom, we made some massive technique changes yesterday, and they worked. You know, hitting 105 for three, really good place to be, and yeah, really happy with that. How are they feeling? Yeah, uh, feeling good. Like I said, um, I think the dumbbell was a really big mental thing for me. Like compressor log, axle, bar, but it was just this one arm thing. Like every time I went up, I was like, it didn't really function. We tried some stuff last time Dan was up, didn't work very well. And then this time it was kind of just more, just some simple wee words that he used to help me. And then now it's just kind of constant now, you know. For me, the most important thing is getting my hand in the middle, making sure it sits up like this. And when I press, it's more just not following my head of the dumbbell and my arms out for the balance point so I did them and I mean what three at 105 is at my best kind of ever also training yesterday as well dumbbell and then doing some push press before it you know so it's in a good position to be in as well considering it's outside raining and like I said conditions are hard here but when they're hard here in a competition it'll be easy so it's all good I'm happy leave the triceps and do the leg raises and that's a hold on the leg raise rather than reps. Right, okay. Push press and the dumbbell press done. Felt okay. I'm not really going into it in anger, full anger. Just got to watch my wrist is in the right place. Felt fine though. So we're going to go and do some accessories. Just get a bit of blood into the muscles and prep for the weekend. Um, so Dan's just kind of tweaked the, pra the, the plan in order for us to be kind of fully fit for the weekend and kind of. Yeah, give it a wee shot. Give it you get pumped on for Arnold, baby. Let's <laughs> not laugh about Tom. Is it Arnold laugh? Baby? It's not Arnold laugh. Ah. How many are we doing? Three fifteens.
So they're doing super high volume of band pull aparts, reared out to like responsible for the first inch or two of pressing. They take quite a lot of hammering, people don't really work them that much. So doing this sort of thing, keep the rotator cuffs healthy, keep the rear out strong, keep Tom sad. Perfect exercise. That's so bad. Do a couple of sets. Do you want me to time both of you? That's a hundred things down now. It's, hanging leg raises are meant to be you hanging legs up and down, but he's got some wacky way of hanging, putting your knees up for as long as you can. Three, two, one. I've got to do one of these exercises that uh, Dan makes up in his head if he does 10 minutes in the cold. But uh, crosses don't count on YouTube, that's... Starting to happen. Yeah. yeah. 10. 15. 25. Three, two, one. That is the session over. We did some push press, some dumbbell, lots of accessories, and then we finished with uh, hanging leg raises. Yep. How did it go, Look, It was very good, Tom. Thanks for asking. No problem at all. It was very nice. And, uh, no one asked me, so I'll just say, yeah, it went great as well. Dan, how did it go? Oh, really good. Yeah, great. Was great time. What are we doing later on, Tom? Are we so, doing any. We're going to do some hot and cold cold tub and sauna tonight. Oh, Usually it's a hot tub but we're doing sauna. sauna so we're just letting that heat up for a few hours and we may see you later on. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Don't forget to ring that little bell. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Dan.